In this video tutorial, we learned about standard form of a rational number. Now, any rational number, let's say that the rational number is p over q. This is our rational number. Now, this rational number will be set will be said to be in its standard form when this denominator that is q is positive is positive and p and q that is the numerator and the denominator have only one common factor have only one common factor and that too it has to be the integer 1. No other number can be the common factor other than 1. So p and q, p over q, this rational number is said to be in, this, in its standard form if this q is positive, that is the denominator is positive, the first condition. And the second condition is, that it, is these two integers can have only one common factor and that is 1. So, what about this number 2 over 3 is this uh, is this rational number in its standard form so the first condition is that the denominator should be positive yes it is positive the second condition is that it should have only one common factor so clearly 2 and 3 have only one common factor and that is 1 what about 2 over 7 is this rational number in its standard form? Yes, this number, this rational number is also in its standard form because the first condition is satisfied, that is the denominator is positive and the second condition is also satisfied that they have only one common factor, that is 1. What about 3 over 7? Yes, this is also in its standard form. 7 is positive and 3 over 7, 3 and 7, they have only one common factor, that is 1. But what if a rational number is not in its standard form? What if it is not in its standard form? And let's try to understand it with a very basic examples. So whenever this condition, the condition is like, the situation is like your rational number is not in its standard form, then you will you can reduce that rational number to its standard form you can reduce can reduce that rational number in its standard form exactly sim exactly the similar way when we were learning about reducing the fractions in its simplest form right we have learned up how to reduce a fraction fraction number in its simplest form same thing will be here also so let, let us take this number only. This is 2 or 3. If I say that is 2 or minus 3, is this rational number uh, in its standard form? So I said first check whether the denominator is positive or not. So the first condition gets failed. No, the denominator is negative, right? So what to do? Change it in its simplest form. If I multiply this number that is 2 over minus 3 with minus 1, if I multiply this number with minus 1. Now if you are thinking that why we are multiplying, multiplying this number with minus 1, then if you remember when we were, when we were learning about uh, equivalent rational numbers, there we have learned these steps. So if I multiply with the same number. Uh, the numerator and the denominator is multiplied with the same number the number rational number that we get is actually equivalent rational number of the previous one so of the initial one so this becomes what this becomes minus 2 over 3 right? so 2 over minus 3 can can be written in its equivalent rational number that is minus 2 over 3 by using this step now check for this one now check for this one is this minus 2 over 3 a uh, uh, in its standard form yes minus 2 or 3 is in its standard form now because this 3 is what is positive so first condition is satisfied and this minus 2 now numerator can be positive it can be positive or it can be negative doesn't matter this can be positive and 
can be negative. Okay, so what if what if this is 3 over minus 9? What if this is 3 over minus 9? Is this rational number in its standard form? Now, first you have to check what? Whether the denominator is positive or not. Well, the first condition gets failed. No, this is not positive. So let's make it positive. So what you will do? Simply multiply both the numbers, the numerator and the denominator by minus one in order to remove this minus sign from the denominator. And this step is actually of writing equivalent rational numbers. So this becomes what? Minus three or nine, right? So 3 over minus 9 can be written as minus 3 over 9. We have learned all these things in our previous videos, in our earlier videos. So now, what about this one? Now, this is the equivalent rational number of 3 over minus 9. So is this now in its standard form? Well, now what ha what's happening is the second condition gets filled. They have more than one common factor. Of course, one is a common factor, but there is another common factor and that is three, right? Three is a common factor of three and nine because if you, if you try to find out, three is act actually the highest common factor of three and nine, right? So in that case, find the highest common factor. First, remove the neg negative sign from the denominator. That will be the first step to make the denominator positive and the second step will be now find the highest common factor and divide both the numerator and the denominator with that. In this case the highest common factor is 3 so if I, and ignore this negative sign while dividing okay so ignore this so keep this minus sign as it is right then divide 3 with the highest common factor in this case it is 3 and divide this 9 with this 3 okay so this becomes what minus 1 or 3 I'm again repeating ignore this negative sign while dividing this with this highest common factor okay just ignore it and keep it aside and just divide this numerator okay so in this case this becomes minus 1 over 3 okay now let's take some examples let's take some examples here here it is minus 45 over 30. Is this rational number in its standard form? Okay, so the first condition is like the P over Q, this denominator should be what? Should be, let's take this in different color. Should be positive, should be positive. Now, in this case, if you see, yes, this first condition gets satisfied. What's the next condition? The next condition is that there should be only one common factor, only one common factor, and that common factor should be what? Should be one. If you properly look at 45 and 30, of course, they are more than one common factor. So the next step will be what? You have to find out the highest common factor, the highest common factor of 45 and 30. While I'm not going to, you know, find out that highest common factor, I'm simply telling you, straight telling you, it's up, uh, it's for you to find the highest common factor as a homework. So 45 and 30, the highest common factor will be what? That will be 50. The highest common factor of 45 and 30 will be 50. So what you have to do then, divide both the numerator and the denominator with this 50. So ignore this negative sign while dividing. 45 divided with 15 and 30 divide this with 15. What do we get? We get, if you divide 45 by 15, you get this three, keep this minus sign here and 30 with 15, you get two. So this is now in its standard, this is now in its standard form. So minus 45 over 30, when divided with highest common factor, this highest common factor is gives you what equivalent rational number and that is in its simplest form or the standard form minus 3 over 2 right so this is the standard form of this 
rational number right this is standard form and also this is the equivalent rational number of this one because we have divided with the same number those of you who haven't learned about equivalent rational numbers are requested to please go to the playlist and watch those videos here what about this 45 minus 30 now in this case 45 minus 30 the first condition gets you know uh, doesn't get satisfied because here it's negative here it is positive the only difference between these two rational numbers is that in this case we had this minus sign with the numerator but in this case we have the minus sign in the denominator so what you will do same the concept of equivalent rational numbers in order to remove this minus sign so our number is 45 minus 30 if we multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the same number that is minus 1 and why we are doing this to remove the negative sign from the denominator this gives you minus 45 minus 45 or 30 now rest is similar you can do similar thing what we did here what we have done here okay for this one okay Let's take this one. This is 36 minus 24. Now, the first condition is not satisfied. Q is negative. So what you will do, you will apply the method of finding equivalent rational numbers in order to remove this negative sign. And what we do is we simply multiply the numerator and the denominator with minus 1. So this gives you minus 36 and this gives you 24. Now the first condition is satisfied that our denominator is not positive. What about this second condition? The second condition is also not satisfied in this case. Okay, it doesn't get satisfied. Why? Because 36 and 24 clearly have more than one common factor. Okay, it can be 2, it can be 3. Now what you have to do now, you have to find highest common factor of 36 and 24. If you find the highest common factor of 36 and to try to find the highest common factor of 36 and 24, then that comes as 12. Okay. Now divide this both the numbers, the numerator and the denominator, with this 12. So 36 divided by 12 and 24 divided by 12. This gives you what? Minus 3. This gives you what? So minus 3 over 2, this 36 over minus 24, when we reduce it in its standard form becomes minus 3 over 2, right? So this minus 3 over 2 is the standard form of this rational number. What about this one? What about this one? In this case, the number is minus 3 or minus 15 clearly the first condition is unsatisfied because here it's negative so what we do we simply multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the same number that is minus 1 this becomes what 3 or 15 right now the first condition gets satisfied what about the next condition that is a common factor should be there should be only one common factor that should be one is that condition does that condition get satisfied no if you try to find the highest common factor now between 3 and 15 3 and 15 the highest common factor comes as what 3 therefore if we divide this 3 over 15 this 3 over 15 by 3 what do you get 3 is a highest common factor you get 1 over 5. It means that this minus 3 over minus 15 is equal to 1 over 5 where this is the stand reduced standard form. We have reduced this particular rational number to its standard form and what, whatever we have done is actually the method of uh, concept of equivalent rational numbers.